Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be looking at two more integrals that can be solved using u substitution. The first one is the integral of e to the 9x dx. And as we've seen in previous videos, we're going to look at the inner function or the function between grouping symbols, in this case 9x, as our u substitution. So we're going to try u equals 9x then du equals 9 dx and dx is equal to du over 9. Plugging back into our original integral, we now have the integral of e to the u du over 9. We can bring out 1 over 9 because it's a constant. And we should recognize the antiderivative of e to the u, or rather e to the x, is one of our memorized antiderivative rules because it's simply e to the u. Can't forget our constant out front. Now plugging back in for u, we have 1 over 9 e to the 9x plus c. And that is our final answer. Now, we're going to move on to number two. Number two is the integral of secant squared square root of x divided by the square root of x dx once again, like we've seen, we're going to try u first is whatever the inner function is. So we set u equal to the square root of x, which is simply equal to x to the one half power. Then we can say that du is equal to one half x to the minus one half dx. And then we can rewrite dx as 2 divided by x to the minus 1 half du, or simply 2 root x du. Now going back to our original integral, we have the integral of secant squared u over root x times 2 root x du. Our root x's cancel and we're left with 2 times the integral of secant squared u du. We should remember from differential calculus that the derivative of tangent of x is equal to secant squared x and thus the antiderivative of secant squared x is simply equal to tangent x. So we have 2 tangent of u plus c plugging back in for x we get 2 tangent of root x plus c and that is our final answer.